welcome to Dwellers in the Dark. A very, very interesting but unique video here. Um, we're having a chat with JT about his, his shop, about his business, about his little company and all he's done for the community and the Hobbit Hobby. Um, this is very, very unusual because Dwellers, we, we don't want to promote any specific retailer or, or anything like that. It's Money is not what we're all about. We, we basically want to make sure the community is informed. And I think that this is my way to say thank you to you because of all the help in the community you've given, all the support at times when models have been difficult to get, and also the, the amazing, you can look at me, don't worry about the camera. No, no. That. <laughs> Woo! Okay. And, um, you know, the fantastic discounts that you've been able to, to give to people to keep the Hobbit alive. Yeah. The, the hobby, the Lord of the Rings. Uh, before yeah. I continue, I'm in your shop at the moment, and everything here, bar a few little trinkets that have nothing to do with gaming as such, yeah. is all Hobbit related. Absolutely. Why is that, JT? <laughs> because this store specialises in the Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, and the future of the Middle Earth SBG. So. Right. Well, what got you into this? Oh, I was just a love for the Tolkien and the movies and such. It was, I collected Games Workshop stuff from a very young age, well, say young, 12 as it is. You, you collect a space marine, everyone has a go, don't they? You paint one of them, you think, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Lost interest with it, but it was when Games Workshop got the license for Lord of the Rings. It's, it gives you that way of extending your passion, doesn't it? If some people like video games, you know, you play a video game, throw it away, it's done. You paint one of these models, you've got it for life, that's yours, you're always going to have it there, right? So Indeed. I threw myself headfirst into this hobby. I, just, I loved collecting, painting, right. but I had nobody to play, so I just really tried my hard to promote it within the local area and get people sharing the passion of my hobby, really. I suppose no better way than setting up a shop, giving you uh, a fantastic gaming area. Yeah. And um, so. What was the process of it? You, you, you said, I'm going to go for a shop, yeah, it, and that's it. <laughs> it's quite a long, hard process. I think networking, just kind of like the Great British Hobbit League and the One Ring, was very helpful in helping me set up, actually, because I met a lot of online friends. When my, my friends didn't have much interest in this, but you meet people online with similar interests, and it keeps that spark going. And then you want to travel to Sheffield, you want to travel to Manchester, you want to meet these people and play. Yeah. So I thought... It's ace meeting them, but travelling's it's a bit hard, so I'm going to do my best to try to get local people playing. Indeed. So I'd set up small event days, you know, just try to get people coming playing with my models and mm. anything like that, encouraging people to paint, getting them in and gradually charging a little bit every time. I'd try to build up to the point of, I could make a business here, I need to contact Games Workshop and see if I can, so... Right. Sure. Now, right. you've, you've spoken about the Great British Hobbit League and the community and, yeah. um, and some of the key people in there, you know, the uh, Sam Jeffries, the Dan Entwistles and, you know, well, the Ed Balls and yeah. the, 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 whole, the whole shebang, basically, you know, the, the competitive guys and the not so competitive guys. We, yeah. We've talked about fluff already. Um, and you've, you've managed to get a lovely little community in here. You've also, <laughs> part of the GPHL, you've actually run some tournaments here. Now this isn't uh, a very big venue in fairness, no, is it? this is probably the smallest venue for one day that we've got going in the GBHL. Obviously with White Rose Fest to hire out a bigger place so it can accommodate more people. Check out that White Rose Fest video there guys. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's very small and that's one thing I like about this store and I think the members do because everybody comes here with the Lord of the Rings Hobbit attitude. As nice as I can say it, I don't tolerate 40k. We get, get that rid of <laughs> We <laughs> used to have a few 40k players, we got rid of them. So yeah, it's just a nice club with everybody coming to enjoy the same kind of game. and We've got a really nice spirit around here, so yeah, you can have a good evening. <laughs> so not only that, but you're able to, um, you're able to as a retailer, yeah. you're able to pass on the savings you make. And you're yeah. very generous in that. I mean, we won't talk percentages or anything because that's that's yeah. a business thing. Uh, that's a business model that you have and respect to keep that, that, that between you and your customers. Yeah. But um, very, very generous. Um, my knowledge of Games Workshop, my knowledge of their pricing structure and, and their retail, uh, their prices, yeah. and their prices to independent stores like yourself. 
um, what you give is, is, is amazing and yeah. it's kept a lot of people within the hobby, specifically people, as independent stores do, yeah. cater for local uh, players who have no real access to, um, mm. to Games Workshop stores. I think fortunately it was never about the money for me. Not that I have money, but I really haven't. But I was used to having no money. My happiness was brought through playing these games. Yeah. So by able to offer these cheap models, it got more people playing, which in turn gives me the happiness that the money would have brought. It's very much, if I'm here rolling dice with like-minded people, I'm very happy. So the more people I can get here playing games, it, it spreads. Yeah. Like we've seen with the surge in the hobby recently. More keen, enthusiastic people teaching more. It's only going to get bigger, isn't it? and that's Indeed. a benefit for everybody. And if I've been helpful in any way doing that, I can be proud, and I'll just hopefully we'll get more. Just keep going, no, we'll get them all playing. And fun. also another uh, accolade is your name is mentioned at a lot of tournaments, not because you're a player, but because I'm you never have <laughs> supported the yeah. tournaments by giving away free prizes and the like, and that that's just amazing. Yeah. There's a lot of great TOs out there who set up great events, so. If if I can't make one, or I try to do my best to throw like, a little bit of prize support or something just to help out. We want to see as many successful tournaments as possible, doing the right things for the right reasons, and getting people playing fun games. Yeah. Indeed. And I suppose this channel really is, in a sense, it's for the TOs to help support. We've, we've done uh, a video yeah. regarding yourself, regarding um, White Rose Fest, which is your tournament coming up. Yeah. We've done. Uh, videos on other people as well, like Dave Reed, yeah. we, uh, you know, um, Damien and uh, Tom, uh, Dan Bird, Steve Crow, to yeah. mention a few, yeah, uh, Jamie Gibbon, of course, and um, you know, the whole idea is to try and support. But this is, in a sense, we're, we're stepping off the mark and yeah. we're trying to give you support by saying thank you very, very much. So, do you want to plug your shop there? Yeah, if anybody's ever free, Huddersfield area, West Yorkshire, I'm here every Sunday, there's a big crowd here playing Lord of the Rings Hobbit games. We do Thursday nights as well, and you can always arrange a day that I come open up just for you if you want a big fancy game. Always happy to try and do what we can. But yeah, I've got awkwardbattles at gmail.com. If you'd ever like to place an order or ask any questions, I'm happy to get in touch. Facebook, JT Noble, I'm there. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> There's so much else to say. Check out some of the stuff in the background, as in the uh, the pictures. Plenty of stock around. Aside from that, guys, as Owen would say, like, subscribe, and I think I've got you saying something. Share. Oh, I said share last time. <laughs> I said share is good. Yeah, yeah. We can work with share. Okay, guys. Thanks very much, and uh, see you all soon. Bye for now. See you there.